Let's move now to speak with the head of mission uh, for Palestine in London, Ambassador Hussam Zomlot. Ambassador, thank you for coming. Thank you, Josh. Same question. What is the Palestinian Authority going to do about today's attacks? Well, every uh, uh, life lost is a tragedy. And we know this best, we the Palestinian people, because only this month, uh, 11 Palestinians were killed by the state-sponsored occupying army, including five children. Early last night, uh, 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 in Jenin, uh, Ahmed was murdered, a 16 years old boy. The day before it, in Nablus, another boy was killed. A girl was shot in her car just the day before her birthday. She was 15 years old. We know very well the price of human loss. And this is why we have been set on focusing on the root cause of all this, set on how do we break away from this 75-year-old deadly cycle. But are you even able to do anything about the violence? I mean, you know, you are the Palestinian Authority. We don't know who carried out this attack, but you don't, don't speak for Hamas, do you? So... No, no, we don't know anything. Let's not jump into any uh, conclusion. What we know is that there is a military occupation with an organized army that targets Palestinian civilians. This year, until October, only in the West Bank, but besieged Gaza aside the two million in an open air prison, only in the West Bank, including East Jerusalem, 125 Palestinians were murdered by the Israeli army, mostly civilians. And here why you and I need to discuss the systematic, chronic situation, and how do we actually Tackle. All right, well, how? And, I mean, you know, when, when uh, we talk about are... the way forward, yeah. what is the way forward? The ambassador from Israel says the Palestinians won't talk. Is that true? Let her say whatever she wants to say. The Palestinians have been set on talking. We have changed our DNA. We have accepted international resolutions to establish two states. I've heard you asking the, the Israeli representative, does she accept the Palestinian state? She refused to answer, and she will continue to refuse to answer because she does represent Israel. Israel is not interested mm. in creating a state of Palestine. Here, answering your question, there are three things we need to tackle immediately. The first is the systematic oppression of the Palestinian people that have lasted for 75 years. This is very well built. It's very well reported by the United Nations and the international community. The second is the abdication of the international community of its own responsibility. We referred Israel to the International Criminal Court, and then we were blocked by the UK, and only last but what week... what is the political route forward? I mean, those two well, things are matters no, of no, no, no. blame and responsibility, the, which are, I understand. Those are important. But, those yeah. are important. When only last week we seek the UN approval to go to the advisory opinion of the International Court of yeah. Justice, ICJ, then the UK does not vote for that resolution. And the minister of the foreign office today in the parliament says that we didn't vote because this is a bilateral dispute. So why, Krishnan, did we create international system? Why did we create all these international conventions and rules? It is exactly because when accountability is needed, we enforce it on countries that invade, occupy, annex the But what is on the build, table for you? Build illegal settlements, which is a war crime. Otherwise, the duplicity yeah. and the double standards we are seeing in comparison to Ukraine, is striking in our face. But what is on the table in terms of a way forward? Palestinian lives is on the table. You bring me here. You see, this is a cyclical conversation, no, isn't no, it? I mean, it isn't. It isn't. We are the ones who are paying much of the brunt of all this. You, you know, the media would invite me when a, when a Palestinian, when an Israeli is, is harmed. But why, did it, why wasn't I invited to discuss the murder of a Palestinian boy or girl only in the last 48 hours? Why is it always when Israelis are harmed? Now, this is also about how this whole conflict is perceived. When the international media will stop portraying this as a clash yeah. or as confrontation, not as a people under oppression that has, saying... the right, that has the right to resist illegality. Are you saying there is nothing to talk about? No. You know, That's not specifically, it. unless Israel says no, no. Palestinian states on the, on the table. Israel will continue saying what it says. Israel will continue drifting so to the, to to the right. what is there to talk about? That's what the, I'm trying to get to. I tell you one thing, international law. 
We need the full application of international law. We need what happened in all other conflicts. Only when the international community intervened, like in South Africa, put real pressure on the regime, the regime crumbled, and then Nelson Mandela came out of prison, and South Africa is where it is today. This is not happening. Israel is allowed to continue drifting to the extreme right. Now we have supremacists, Jewish supremacists, in Knesset and soon in government. Now you'll have a situation whereby if the international community does not intervene immediate, immediately, if the media does not give the Palestinian people their right, according to international law, to resist the illegality, if we don't frame it in the right way, the, you will invite me again and again to talk about the consequences, to talk about the symptoms, but not the illness. Ambassador, thank you very much indeed.